Today we're going to be building this super simple DIY tripod mount for your phone. Most phones these days take incredibly good video. This one here, in fact, can take up to 1080p. So I figured, why not have a spare camera in the event that I need one? So without further ado, let's get started. For today's project, you're going to need the following materials. Uh, we need a scrap piece of wood. This is just a 1x4 like that I had lying around. A 6 inch by quarter by 20 carriage bolt. Two quarter by 20 nuts. A 1 quarter by 20 wing nut. And a quarter by 20 coupler. Um, if you want to paint this, you could also get some black spray paint, but uh, it's not necessary for this build. The tools you're going to need for this project are a uh, drill or drill press, a 5 16 inch drill bit or anything big enough for the carriage bolt to slide through without uh, undue wobble I guess. A saw of some kind, I'm going to be using my uh, radial arm saw but a hand saw will work just as good anything you have that will cut wood or if your wood's already the right size you're good to go. The first thing I did was to cut my wood to size. Um, both of these blocks are roughly two and a half inches wide by three inches long and then these are around a quarter of an inch you'll see that the one set is thicker than the other that's just kind of how it turned out. Uh, it's not a big deal I did mark these as top and bottom these thicker ones are going to go on the bottom and the thinner ones on the top and what these are going to do is they're going to create a channel for my phone to sit in when I put the two pieces together. So the next step is going to be to measure how wide we need to have these and glue them on. Um, I guess that's one thing I forgot to say, you're going to need some way to attach these. So I'm going to go with uh, wood glue and probably some brad nails. but. Uh, regular old nails would work or if you really wanted to get fancy you could uh, router this out I don't have a router table so doing that would have been more work than just cutting these little shims so that's the way I went um, the distance between these two thinner pieces is going to be determined by the thickness of your phone mine has an otter box on it so obviously it's a little bit thicker so I'm probably going to go with around a half an inch but uh, measure your phone and use your own discretion Right, as you can see, I used my I have to use my brad nailer for this just because uh, I could clamp this and wait a couple hours for it to dry, but I'm kind of on a bit of a schedule here, so I want to get it done quick. And the brads, they're really not meant for mechanical hold; they're just meant to hold it in place until the glue dries. And once the glue dries, then these should be pretty much indestructible, at least for what we're going to be asking of them. All right, our next step is going to be to find the center of our block which if we measure this at two and a half inches that's going to be roughly one and a quarter inches in to be center okay. Just draw this out here and then I'm because of where my blocks and everything are I'm going to opt to go about three quarters of an inch in that should give me a half inch here and then plenty over here but still leave my channel relatively untouched. Now I'm going to go drill this hole and then I'm going to show you how to get the second hole lined up with this one. Alright, now that I've got my first hole drilled, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp these two together so that when I drill through my original hole, it'll meet up on my second piece of wood. You could also just measure and drill this. It's not going to matter a whole lot. This is just a little easier for me. All right, now that I've got both holes drilled in roughly the same place, it's time for assembly. 
we're going to take our top piece here and it's going to go groove down on our carriage bolt just like so and then we're going to screw on our first nut here you're going to see i might have maybe should have made my groove either a little smaller or use a slightly narrower piece of wood but i think i can make this work And there we have it, the top half of our new camera mount. For the bottom half, we're just going to slide on the second piece, just like that. And then we're going to thread on our wing nut. Um, that's probably good enough. We need to make sure we leave enough space for the phone, but it's not really going to matter because this is our tensioning nut so it'll go up and down. Then we're going to thread on our second nut and then our coupler. I should also note at this point the second nut is possibly unnecessary. I chose to use it as a lock nut to make sure that once I set this coupler it didn't move anymore. Um, so you could probably get away without that if you really wanted to. And you could also improve this by getting a lock washer for this but I didn't see it. It's not going to be under a whole lot of stress. So there's not a whole lot of point in putting more hardware on this than you need to. But there we have it. Our DIY super simple camera phone mount. Let me give you just a second here and I'll get my phone in it. And there you have it. A simple, easy DIY camera mount for your phone. Um, and the nice thing about all this is with this quarter inch coupler on the bottom, this will fit right onto any standard tripod mount. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.